Excel's menu system is extensive and well organized with a variety of icons and pop up help screens that eases your understanding of how Excel works. At the top of the screen, over on the left hand side, we see the word file, then home, insert, page layout, etc., and below that, a variety of icons. This entire area is referred to as the ribbon, and home, insert, both of those are tabs within the ribbon. As you work with Excel and use various features to accomplish this task or that task, you'll be relying upon, probably more often than not, what's on the Home tab. Recognize that within the Home tab, these various icons are in what we call groups. So right now, I'm pointing to various icons within the Font group. Next group over to the right is called Alignment, and then Number. The Insert tab, and we are not going to go through every single one of these, but if, for example, if you were creating a chart, you would go to the Insert tab and use some of the features here within the Charts group. Notice also that when you slide over a particular icon, you also get a pop-up tip. And sometimes these tips are quite extensive and lengthy, and it helps you understand Excel better. It also opens the door to some features that maybe you didn't even know existed in Excel. The Data tab, for example, has features related to some of those tasks that you would like to perform if you're working with large amounts of data, say a database kind of list. The Formulas tab, as you might guess, has a lot to do not only with formulas, but with Excel's extensive list of functions and capabilities there too. Page layout relates a lot to printing. Some of them you'll never need. But when you do have that extra moment, it helps to be inquisitive, and maybe you'll click on the Review tab and learn something about protection, protecting a workbook, protecting a sheet. And although you can customize the ribbon, I think it's best to go with the built-in capability that exists within these ribbon tools. Recognize that the leftmost button here is called File, and as I click File, suddenly the screen changes radically. We are now on what Microsoft calls the backstage view. And it is different when we work with file features because this relates primarily to the ability to open and close and save files. In other words, it consists of features that are not working with the actual data that you're using. It has to do more with working with data at the file level. And you can easily return to the standard view either by clicking this left arrow here at the top or simply pressing Escape. Within certain groups, for example, on the Home tab, which I'm clicking now, you will see in the lower right-hand corner what Microsoft calls the Dialog Box Launcher. Suppose you were trying to figure out how to do something unusual, like a superscript or a subscript. It's likely to be found in the font group, but there's no indication that it's here at all. So if you click this button, this brings up a dialog box called Format Cells. And this particular dialog box has been around in Excel for many, many features. It does alert us to the fact that there are more font capabilities than we see in the ribbon. And here, for example, over on the left-hand side, we see Strike Through and Superscript and perhaps some other variations on Underline. And we escape from here either by selecting a feature and clicking OK with the left mouse button or simply canceling to get out of here or clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner. Recognize also that on certain buttons, for example, on bold, you may or may not know that there's a keystroke equivalent to that particular feature. And here and there, as you work with Excel, you'll become more proficient particularly on features you use most often because you've been alerted to a keystroke shortcut. The Excel menu system, again, provides so many different features, so many ways to get things done as you work with Excel.